Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial for M Creator. Today we're going to be updating the sword effects tutorial that I worked on a long time ago. Uh, there's been some recent surges for me to update this tutorial so I thought I would do that and you guys voted for it so uh, here it is. So uh, first thing is we can actually use vanilla items now. I'm not sure if we were able to do that last time but it is possible to do it now. And I have a different, a couple different effects that are set up for vanilla swords. If we swing on to the entity, the entity doesn't actually get damage taken to it, but it will have the effect taken. And if we hit it with the other sword, then I basically set the gravity of that entity to zero and give them movement vector to go up. And they'll just kind of sit up there during this video. Just like we, all right. So yeah, that's basically what um, sword effects do. It allows you to give certain, uh, certain like effects to entities and such. Um, outside of that, let's uh, go into M Creator and I'll show you how it all works. Alright, so there is just one procedure that we have set up, and that is when Entity is attacked, and then I have a very short condition testing for if the main hand of the provided Entity is the sword or whatever tool that you want. It's not just specific to swords themselves, you can do it for any item using this method. If you want to use a stick, then you could also use a stick for this. Uh, after which, what we're doing is we're basically canceling the event, so this makes sure to cancel the actual damage and um, any conditions from vanilla Minecraft to make sure that entities don't run around and stuff like that. So it basically cancels out the entity being attacked from it. So you can take this out if you want them to actually still take damage and stuff, but uh, in this case we're just applying some effects and stuff and we didn't want them to get hurt. So that's basically what this block right down here does. After which uh, we are dealing 25% damage uh, or 25 damage to the item in the main hand. Uh, this is for the source entity. Now when you're using this particular um, entity as attack global variable, the source entity is the player where the event slash target entity is the entity that you're basically attacking. So keep that in mind when you actually go through the script because that will matter quite a lot when you're actually running certain parts. Uh, for example, uh, the effect right down here that we're giving the entity is uh, the event slash target entity. And what it's going to do is give the entity, not the player, the potion effect of glowing and where the item in the main hand of the source entity, which is the player, is going to be taking the damage for the item. And again, we're testing if the item in the main hand of the source entity is a diamond sword. So if you want to add a new entry, all you need to do is duplicate it, set it to something for the item. Uh, in our case, we could go like, I don't know, a diamond shovel, and then we could uh, basically add our script what we want to happen below here. For example, uh, we could remove gravity for this one and just have them go up in the air and then fall back down. We can actually set this to go something like three and then it'll be shot up really fast. So we could do that. Um, there's other things that you can actually do with entities as well. There's a whole bunch of stuff uh, that you can actually play around with. Uh, there's just a few for um, no gravity, you can set the rotation if you wanted to, like it's pretty much endless of what you can actually do with what what happens when you actually do it. If you wanted to like tame them, then you could actually do that too. You could actually tame the um, event uh, by the source entity. This is already configured for this particular purpose. So we would cancel out the event and then we would damage the item and then we would basically um, tame the creature that way. So basically that's all that's happening here with the netherite sword. What's going on is we're dealing 50 points of damage 
setting the gravity of the entity. This will make them stay up in the air permanently because they won't have gravity anymore. So we're setting that to uh, set no gravity to true. And then what we're doing is we're uh, using movement vector to shoot them up in the air. And to find these blocks, I'll create one from scratch. So we'll just delete this one and then we'll start off from scratch here. If we go with uh, the flow control and then we grab a basic if statement. And then what we need to do is go to logic and grab a red operator. We need this for the test for the item. And then what we're going to do is go to entity data and then scroll down quite a bit until you see item in main hand and we're going to drop that to right here we're actually going to get rid of this uh, event slash target entity we don't need it and we're going to go to minecraft components and then we're going to get source entity and after we got the source entity we need to go back to minecraft components and grab a item block the red block here and then we're going to place that down here and select our item or block you can also set a block as well but um, in our case what we're doing is we're just going to get an item we'll use that diamond sword again as we did before uh, if you want to cancel the event then what you need to do is if the event says down here on the bottom plat bottom piece it says cancelable if that's true, then you can actually go into advanced procedures and go and set the cancel event that triggered global trigger. Now this will only work with global triggers, so make sure that you're actually using a global trigger for running this particular event or it won't work. Uh, other than that, uh, then you basically want to damage the item. So what we're going to do is go to item procedures and then scroll down until we find uh, let's see deal I think it might have been at the top here let me just double check deal um, one damage to provided item stack so we're actually gonna remove the provided item stack and we're going to just duplicate it our item in main hand of source entity and then that will work that way you can set the damage to whatever you want uh, it will actually um, for how many down damage points that it actually takes if it goes over that then it's going to break the tool automatically all right so after that you basically just want to set up your rest of your script so we have quite a few different options we can uh, tame up the entity like we did before so we can do that uh, we can go with I think it was actually near the top let's go to the top again and tame and then when you're actually reading the thing out, uh, imagine that you're actually r hitting the entity and that the event slash target entity is the entity that you're actually hitting. So in this case, team target slash entity by source entity, that makes sense in that context of we're hitting the entity. So it should be fine when you set it up this way. After which, just make sure that it's connected to the green part and you're good to go. Uh, let's go into game and just quickly test this out. Alright, so we're back in game. I have a wolf spawn egg and a diamond shovel in our inventory. So I'm going to place this down and then what we're going to do is we're going to just let him attack the skeleton because why not? I just like how he's attempting to run away too. He's just like, nope. Alright, so we're just going to hit him and then as you can see he's going to turn into a tamed wolf. So we can do that one more time and we'll take a look at the chest. So the chest doesn't have a thing and now it does. So that's basically how that works. Um, again, you would probably want to test if the entity was tamed or not, and if it could be tamed. Um, so there would be some extra conditions that you might want to throw in. So if, for say, you hit a, a chicken or something like that, it's not going to just uh, cancel out the, 
the damage for that particular entity. But uh, outside of that, uh, that's all the time that I have for today. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.